Johnny, she is walking through the gate, going to her morning meeting, and she's never ever late. This Bonnie is the best friend we've ever ever had, and she never becomes cross with us, cause she is never mad. No, sir! Remember when Miss Bonnie rode a horse one day to school, and told us not to do drugs, because they are not cool? You remember the time I was stuck up in a tree, Miss Bonnie climbed up to the top just to rescue me. Or how about that time when we were camping by the lake And little Petey screamed as he'd been bitten by a snake But Miss Bonnie cut him open and sucked the poison out If Miss Bonnie hadn't been there he'd be dead without a doubt Remember when the aliens came to Earth last May And kidnapped all the children and then took them all away But Miss Bonnie showed up in the nick of time She pulled out her laser gun and now we all are fine Miss Bonnie, Miss Bonnie, she makes school so much fun And we go and do our homework when the school day is done We eat our vegetables, we know she want us to And we go to bed and dream of her when the day is through Miss Bonnie, she's great, she's cool, she's fun Miss Bonnie, we think she's number one Miss Bonnie, you know it will always be true Miss Bonnie, we love you Hey look everyone, it's Miss Bonnie! Hi Miss Hi, Bonnie. 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 Bonnie! Hi Miss Bonnie, how are you? <laughs> well, hello everyone! Did you all have an extra special summer vacation? Oh, yeah, yeah. I I it was great. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, children, we have many new students this year, and I want you to make friends with all of them and make sure no one feels left out. All right, Miss Bonnie. I also want you to say a very special prayer for the farmer who lives down the street. He's not feeling very well right now. Holy moly, oh, 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 what's wrong with him, Miss Bonnie? He's at home suffering from kidney stones. Oh. I'm afraid they're very painful. Yikes, that's too bad. And now, if you'll excuse me, children, I have to run and place a bid for a glow-in-the-dark piñata I found on eBay. I'll see you all soon. Bye, Bye. 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 Hi, Cornelius. Oh, hi, Elmer. Did you have a good summer? What do you mean, did I have a good summer? You know exactly what kind of summer I had. I saw you every day since school got out last June. Oh boy, you're in a grumpy mood. Maybe this will cheer you up. Look at my new toy that Grandpa Newton sent me. Wow, it's a dynamic Dave action hero. Yep, isn't he swell? Well, 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 what do we have here? Hi, Leroy. Hi, Oswald. Hi, Cornelius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's wrong with you, Leroy? Aren't you excited that school is starting up again? Hey, Cornelius, what's wrong with you? I just told you last night how much I was dreading the first day of school. Wow, Leroy, you're in a grumpy mood just like Elmer. And he has been ever since he found out Miss Iverson got married. No kidding, Leroy? Who did she marry? All we know so far is she married some guy with facial hair. Really? Is it Wayne Jackie? It couldn't be Wayne Jackie. Wayne Jackie is never going to get married. He told me so himself. He's going to stay a bachelor forever and live inside of an igloo up on Takowitz Peak with Javier, his pet gorilla. Maybe I should move in with him. If you're going to be living in an igloo on Takowitz Peak with a gorilla, you'd better get used to the smell first. Javier probably smells better than the new kid I have to sit next to in class. I've had to go all morning without breathing. Now that you mention it, you do look a little blue. What's the new kid's name? His name is Peon Tony, and he's more dirt than he is kid. I don't think he's taken a bath since, well, ever. Peon Tony? What kind of a name is that? It's just a nickname the other kids gave him. What's a peon? A peon is a very poor person. Does his family not have very much money? By the way he dresses, I'd say they don't have any money. It looks like he's wearing hand-me-downs he got from Moses. The washing instructions on the label are probably written in hieroglyphics. Hey, look! A big dust ball is coming! Look at all the kids running to get away from it. 
That's not a dust ball. That's Peon Tony. Something smells funny in the air. Something coming our way gives us a scare. Hide under a table, hide under a chair. Hide from Peon Tony. He came from somewhere, but we're not sure where. Wherever it was, he should go back there. If you're out and about, you must beware. You don't run into Peon Tony. Miss Bonnie will just have to understand We can't be friends with someone who doesn't wash his hands His face or his hand-me-down clothes Or between his toes Why is Peon Tony so dirty? Maybe his family is too poor to buy soap Hey, look at the toys he plays with Those aren't toys they look like things he found along the roadside, and he pretends they're toys. Did you know he glued a couple of pieces of cotton together and pretends it's his miniature pet sheep? Doesn't he even have one real toy? I'd better protect my Dynamic Dave action hero. Peon Tony might try to steal him. Tony's toys are made from sticks and rocks. He has hand puppets made from dirty old socks. And he pretends that they can talk. What a pathetic boy is he. He plays with trash and old tin cans and a paper mache army man. Nothing he owns was made in Japan. He's a human tragedy. He has no toys that are good. He'll never have a normal childhood. No video games, no remote control cars. Beyond Tony will be scarred for life. Poor Beyond Tony. Cornelius, are you sure the farmer will be up to visiting with us today? You know how sick Miss Bonnie said he is. Elmer. You know the farmer. No matter how bad he's feeling, he'll want to see us. And anyway, I'm excited to show him Dynamic Dave. There's his house now. It looks like he planted some new corn to make up for his cornfield that Leroy burned down. Hey, Oswald, I told you not to bring that up anymore. Sorry. Come on, guys. Let's go. I can hardly wait to see the farmer. Running to the farmer's house. 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 Hey, I hear the farmer. Mr. Farmer, it's us! Yeah, we came to visit. And maybe have a snack. And play some games. And show you my new Dynamic Dave action hero. He's real neat. Open the door, Mr. Farmer. Go away! Okay, Mr. Farmer, we'll see you later. Wow, those kidney stones must really be painful. I haven't heard the farmer sounding so upset since Leroy... Don't say it, Elmer. All right, I'll say it. Burn down his cornfield. <laughs> hey, Oswald, what did I tell you about bringing that up? Sorry. Hey, guys, look. At what? Over there, heading into the bushes. It's Peon Tony. Hey, what's he doing? I don't know. Let's go find out. Sneaking up on Peon Tony. 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 Look, what on earth is he doing? It looks like he's got a few hundred of his weird toys all laid out on the ground. Hey guys, this is kind of creepy. What is this place? Just some abandoned area of the farmer's burned down cornfield. Look, he's carving a wooden octopus with an old knife. Hey, look at all those toys. Some of them are pretty neat. Hey, who's up there? Is someone there? Oh, uh, hi, Peon Tony. It's just us. We go to the same school as you. Oh, yeah. Hey, Elmer, do you remember me? I sit next to you in class. How could I forget? Hey, Peon Tony, what are you doing with all of these toys? Oh, 
I'm making these toys to give to all the children at school. I'm almost done. I made something really neat for you, Elmer. Want to see it? Um, I'm not sure. Elmer? I mean, of course I do. Here it is. I carved this out of an old piece of driftwood I pulled out of the water. It's a wooden millipede. His legs took a real long time to carve. I wish I would have made a centipede instead. Hey, peon Tony, where did you find driftwood around here? In the gutter. Oh. oh. Hey, peon Tony, why are you making toys for everyone? Well, I don't know. I just thought it would be a nice thing to do. Hey, peon Tony. This wooden millipede is really neat. Thanks. Hey, peon Tony, don't you have any real toys? No, I don't. Why do you wear such ratty clothes? Is your family poor or something? Oh, no. My mother says we're the richest family around because we have each other and we have God. Oh, that's nice. You're rich because you have God and your family and not material possessions. A few years ago, I would have thought that was ridiculous, but I understand what you're saying. Yeah, money is highly overrated anyway. Well, we have money as well. My father makes millions of dollars every year. What? Yep, he designed and manufactures Dynamic Dave Action Heroes. We don't keep our money, though. We give it all away to support churches and missionaries and to feed the hungry and the poor. You don't keep any of the money? We've taken a vow of poverty. We don't want to save up treasures on earth when we could save up treasures in heaven. Who wants to die and be the richest person in the cemetery and have nothing to show for it when they reach heaven? Yeah, you have a point there. Well, hello, Tony. How are all of your toys coming? Just fine, Miss Bonnie. You know, Tony, we heard a lot of things about your toys. We even sang a song making fun of them. But we never realized how neat they actually are. Children, I understand there's been a lot of unfriendly talk about Tony going around school, and I am very disappointed with that. We're sorry, Miss Bonnie. We just weren't sure what to make of him. Remember, when you see people, whether it's for the first time or whether they're a lifelong friend, you need to see them as Jesus sees them, as someone very special that he gave his life for. You're right, Miss Bonnie. From now on, we'll all be the best of friends. Miss Bonnie, you're our hero, you amaze us every day. You bring joyfulness out of absolute dismay. We learn that to be filled with love and joy. You don't need a lot of money, you don't need a lot of toys. Hurry kids, let's play with P on Tony's toys! Miss Bonnie is the best friend we've ever, ever had. Miss Bonnie is our principal and we are very glad. And we are...